Alright, well, what's up guys? Back for another video. So I got up early, like I said last video, I want I need to get better at falling asleep early, waking up early, so I am better at that. It's like 7.15, 7.30ish right now. So I'm having my breakfast, same old, same old. Cream rice, protein, peanut butter, banana, uh, protein bar. Um, when I'm cutting, I'm basically eating almost the same thing every day. I mix up a little bit here and there, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm having the birthday cake built bar today. Like I said last video, I'm an ambassador for Built Bar. Dude, these things are really, really good. Like, I'm not just, like, for Bucked Up and for this. I'm, like, I use actually use those products. Like, I'm not just, like, doing an ambassadorship to get paid. Like, I actually use these, too. So, this is the birthday cake one. Um, code Inglehorn10 for 10% off. It will be right here on the screen and in the description. So, I'm about to eat this, and I'm about to head to the gym. All right, guys, at the gym, just to my pre-workout. You guys already know what it is. Bucked Up Sups. Code Inglehorn20 for 20% off. I actually am using a different one that's not woke, uh, woke as fuck this time. I got, forgot to bring it. It's at home. But I'll show you guys here on Instagram the stack that I'm using. The new one I'm using is crazy, bro. The pump is crazy. I do like it. So I want to show you guys so you guys can experience it too. But I'm going to show you guys my leg workout today. I feel like I haven't shown you guys my leg workout in a while. So today is my hamstring focus day. So that means I'm going to start with hamstrings. And then hop into quads and then hop into glutes and stuff like that but show you guys this workout and then for the other part of the video um i'm gonna explain why you don't have to squat or deadlift really you really don't have to squat or deadlift to get big legs to get muscle growth i don't squat really um i just started deadlifting again i do sumo deadlifts but i haven't done it in a while i'm gonna explain why you don't have to squat and deadlift to get big muscle all that and then there might be a meal in there. Today, I might get a meal after the workout if I have time. I do work at 2 o'clock, though. But if I have time, I'm going to get a meal. And that's it, guys. That's basically it. See you guys later. Stop until this workout. High five. No mercy. All right, so we were gonna go get a meal, me and my girlfriend. The place we were gonna go, the menu was different online and, in, and like in the store, so like I decided not to do it. But my girlfriend got taco shop, so I had her order some, some spicy carrots. I already ate some of it by two pieces of toast, and then these, these are air fried chicken nuggets. So it's like uh, 320 calories, 30 grams of protein for this, so pretty healthy for chicken nuggets. Just with one of these uh, 100 calorie guacamole things, and I already ate two cuties. About to eat this. Um, the leg workout was nice. Um, I wore my new bands from that I posted last video that, that you, so you guys could see that. Really, really good. Um, so I'm about to just eat this, about to go to work, and then the rest of the video will be after this. See you guys later. All right, what's up, guys? So I just want to talk about um, what I mentioned earlier, the other fitness part of the video, talking about why you don't have to squat or deadlift to get bigger legs, to gain muscle in your legs, stuff like that. So I'm not, what I'm, I'm not saying is that you shouldn't, I'm, that I'm not saying you shouldn't squat and deadlift. I'm saying you don't have to if you don't like to do it. Um, I personally don't squat anymore. Um, the only squats I really do, like I don't do tr traditional barbell squat, like when you go to squat rack and do that, I don't do that anymore. Um, the reason I don't do it is because I hurt myself uh, maybe like two years ago when I first started, before I got, it was before I got serious into working out, but it was when I started working out. I used to do like heavy squat. And I hurt myself really, really bad. Like, and it wasn't even me doing bad. It wasn't even me doing bad form. It was just heavy weight, and I went too low and came up, and I, I pulled something in my lower back, and I wasn't able to work out for like I don't know what the exact time, but it was at least like two to three, maybe four weeks, like around that. 
I wasn't able to work out. That's how bad it was. I like, literally, um, I remember the day that I hurt myself, um, I hung out with my girlfriend that day and literally like getting out of the car was hard. Like when I got out of the car to go somewhere, that's how hurt, bad I was hurt. Like it hurt that bad. I hurt my lower back that bad. So ever since then, I literally don't, I don't, I don't squat anymore. I do like Smith machine squats, um, Smith machine front squats, the squat early in the video with like the little, little shoulder pads that I showed. So I do that. And that, that's basically why you don't, um, why I don't do it anymore. It's literally just because I don't want to hurt myself. Um, if you guys like doing it, go ahead and do it. And it's the same thing for deadlifts. I don't do conventional deadlifts anymore. I used to do conventional deadlifts, but it's the same. I never hurt myself, but it's the same reason. Like, I'm just going for physique. I'm going for the look, right? I don't really care about strength. If you want to build strength, deadlifts are really, really good. So if you want that, go ahead and do it. But I don't do it just because it's like the risk reward level. Like, since I'm going for look. The risk of me hurting myself is higher than how much muscle I'll be gaining. So that's why you saw earlier in the video, um, I did sumo deadlifts. So sumo deadlifts are way safer. They target more your hamstrings and not your whole body. So the reason why deadlifts can be dangerous is because you can really pull your back, hurt your lower back doing it, especially when you get into heavier weights. So I used to do them, just like I used to do squats. I just don't do it anymore because I'm just going for the look. So for people that maybe are afraid of getting injured like me, you don't have to do it. Or let's say you just don't like doing it. You don't have to do it. For like for quads you can do leg press you can do goblet squats which is uh, squats with a dumbbell in front of you you can do front squats um you can do the squat i did today you can do lunges you can do any of those check my previous videos on my leg workouts or on my instagram i have a whole bunch of quad workouts on there so you don't have to do squats to build bigger bigger quads you can do any of the exercise lunges leg press front squats goblet squats anything like that and for hamstrings if you still want to do deadlifts but be safer do what I did today in sumo squats. Cause those are way safer. You're probably not gonna injure yourself and they really target the hamstrings and the glutes to build the glutes and the hamstrings. You can also do Romanian deadlifts. You can do good mornings, which I do all the time on this channel and on Instagram. You can do hamstring curls. All of those are gonna work hamstrings. So if you're just going for look, that's perfectly fine. And one thing I really believe is that if you, if you do exercises that you enjoy doing and like doing better, you're gonna put more effort into it. So if you put more effort into it, you're gonna go to failure. You're gonna train harder, which is in result is gonna mean muscle, more muscle growth. So if you go in, you're like, ah, I don't wanna squat, and you force yourself to squat, you're probably not gonna give full effort into your squat, which means you're not gonna go to failure, you're not gonna do as many reps, not gonna do as many sets, and it's kinda like a waste, you know? Like, if you're not gonna go into the gym and work, and work out hard, what's the point of going in? Like, if you're not gonna give full effort, what's the point, you know? So that's my opinion. It's either if maybe you're afraid of getting injured like me, or you just don't like doing squat and deadlifts. Just, just don't do them. Go in, do what you like. Go in and do what you like, and trust me, it's gonna be, it's gonna show more muscle growth. Like I know squats and deadlifts, like can probably build muscle quicker than these other exercises, but if you go in and train hard for the exercise you like, I promise you, you're gonna see better results. I promise, promise, promise you. Just like anything in life, anything in life, like not working out anything. If you like it, you're gonna get put more effort into it, be more consistent. So I just want to explain to you guys that for people that don't want to do squat and deadlifts, you don't have to. I don't do it, and you've seen I have pretty decent legs. I have pretty big legs, and I don't even do stuff like that. I just go in and train to train to failure on the stuff that I do do. So I just want to explain to you guys because I know there is some people that just don't like doing it or are afraid to get injured like me. So just go in and do what you like, guys. All right, guys. So as I mentioned in previous videos, I had an idea for the fashion part that isn't an unboxing. So we're gonna do it for this video. I'm kind of excited to show you. Um, if you guys like it, um, I'm planning on doing this like maybe once every month or a couple of weeks, stuff like that. So what it is, obviously, like I said, like I've shown in previous videos on my fit checks, I like a lot of vintage clothes. That's my style. So I went thrift shopping. There's a thrift shop at my house and I just been going thrift shopping lately because I don't really have a lot of clothes. I spent a lot of my money on shoes. So I've been thrift shopping like every free, every like once a week when I have free time. I'll show you the pickups I got. I got a pretty good amount. Everything that you're about to see, I probably got for like a hundred bucks combined. It's not that much money. So I'll start off with this. This isn't really vintage, but I liked it. It's like a silk t-shirt, silk uh, button up, I mean. There it is right there. Super, super fire, super good condition, look at that. Now, once it starts heating up, I'm gonna wear a button up with no shirt under to show off the abs, let the abs pop out. So hype for that. It's a little too cold now, but once the summer comes in, when it gets hot. So that's a silk button up. And then we got a little, something light, just a Nike. Vintage Nike t-shirt, it says I've left the part on it. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's like a, it's a gray, but it's kind of faded. So it's kind of like dark gray. Super, super clean. Look at that, super, super clean. I'll throw it on with some, I don't know what shoes. I'll throw it on with some type of shoes with the fit. So I'm gonna, the ones at the beginning are just all right. I'm gonna end with the ones that are my, are my favorite. So we got a vintage 
Chargers t-shirt. I actually got another one that's similar to this, but my girlfriend took it. But I got two vintage Chargers t-shirts. This is the other one had like a helmet on, a helmet on it, and it had some baby blue in it. But vintage Chargers. You've seen I have a lot of vintage Chargers and Padres t-shirts on Instagram and on here, so I like wearing them. So there it is. Super super clean. Look at that. Wear it with some yellow shoes, with uh, yellow accent shoes. Be fire. And I'm a Celtics fan, so I had to cop this. It's a nice, I don't even think this is vintage. This probably probably came out like 2010. That's what it looks like to me. But I got it for like four bucks, bro. So I was like, yeah, I had to cop. I probably won't wear this with a fit, to be honest. I'll probably just wear this around maybe to the gym. But it's a, it's a good pickup. At least I got like a, what, what brand is it? It's NBA. So NBA shirts are usually like 30 bucks. But I got this for like four bucks, dude. So I'm gonna save, I have two other t-shirts. I'm gonna save those for last because it's the, the favorite thing I've copped out of all of them. I copped some winter clothes. I copped some jackets and stuff that I'm not gonna wear now, obviously, but for the winter, more for the winter, same for the winter, same for the winter fits. So first, this isn't really a jacket, but it's a Nike dry fit long sleeve. Look at that. Throw that on with some Nike shoes. Super sure fire. Got this for like four bucks, but look at that. Nike, vintage Nike super super clean super super clean i was hyped to find that for like four bucks bro and then we got this high quality flannel this is i mean obviously you can't tell but this is like super heavy duty so it's gonna hella warm you up got this for like let's see what i get this for 6.99 bro 6.99 for this super super clean definitely gonna throw this on i'll probably throw this on with some motherfucking new balances bro she will look fire with some new balances with some baggy jeans with it during the winter super super fire all right, now it starts to heat up. I have four things left. Now it's going to start to heat up. So this, look at this for the winter, bro. Look at this. A nice lightweight windbreaker, bro. Super, super fire. Got this for $6.99 as well. Super, super clean. So it's like, has a little uh, zipper at the bottom too. So it's like halfway button, halfway zip. Super, super fire. And it has little things at the bottom. Where you can attach it and pull it so it's like super tight around you i like stuff like this i have a lot of like um old starter jackets like this that i really really like and then look at this we got some heat here we got a columbia jacket columbia jacket bro i got for i don't know i think i got it for like 15 bucks i think nice columbia jacket columbia puffer jacket bro super fun but that's heat you can't tell me that's not heat bro that's heat Look at that. Ooh, I'm hyped to wear that during the winter, bro. All right, the last two t-shirts are my favorite ones. I actually have been wanting to wear one of the t-shirts with a fit. I already have a fit in my head, but I don't want to show you guys. So this is the one I have a fit in my head for already. So it's a Muhammad Ali t-shirt. It says victory on it. Super, super clean, bro. I had the cop. Super, super clean. I actually have this poster um, in my room, Muhammad Ali, and it says impossible is nothing. So um, my dad gave it to me when I was little. I've had it in my room since I was little. And that ever since then, I was super, super big fan of Muhammad Ali because like, that's like my, my, my mentality, bro, is like impossible. There's nothing impossible. Follow your dreams. You hear me say that every video. So that's why I'm a really big fan of Muhammad Ali. Super, 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 super fire. I got this for $2.95, bro. I already have a fit in my head for this, for this, bro. I'm so excited to wear that. And then this is my favorite, bro. This is like a grill. Like this is like a, but like this is a gem to find in the thrift store, bro. A, a vintage Tony Gwynn Padres. Look at that. I got it for, I think I got this for five bucks, I think. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. It's fire, bro. And then on the back, it says Gwynn. It might be a little snug because it is a small. So I don't even know if I can wear it with a fit. I don't really like wearing tight t shirts with fits. But I had to cop either way, bro. That's absolute fucking fire. Look at that. So, so fire. And actually, I did forget one more thing. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the last thing. So it isn't a t-shirt, it isn't clothes, but it's this Spider-Man poster, bro. I found for $4.99, look at that. Ooh, that is absolute fire. I'm gonna hang down my room. I haven't hung out my room yet because I want to show you guys. I've had this for a while. Um, so yeah, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. Always has been my favorite superhero. Those was original Spider-Man that came out when I was like, in like 2003, 2004 with Tobey Maguire in them. Bro, I love those movies, even to this day. A lot of people don't like those Spider-Man movies. They like the new ones better. But I love those movies, bro. So, I had to cop this. Gonna hang this in my room. Absolute fire. So, those are the thrift shop finds. Um, hopefully, you guys like this. Um, I'm probably gonna post this maybe once, like, once a month. 
for the channel because obviously I have to find stuff. Because sometimes when you go to thrift shopping, you've ever been, it's hit and miss, hit and miss. Sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. So hopefully you guys like this. This will probably be a reoccurring thing on this channel, like maybe once a month. And that's it, guys. See you guys later. All right, so here's the pitch check for today's video. You got a vintage Boys to Men t-shirt. I've had this t-shirt for a while. It's actually my dad's. I love this shirt. I don't wear that often. But so it says Boys to Men there. On the back, has all the faces and all that. Jeans. I wanted to, honestly I wanted to wear some baggier jeans. I have a pair of black pants that are looser. I don't know where they are, so I wore some skinny ones, which I don't really like. At the bottom we got the infrared sixes, super super clean. First time wearing these, I've had these for a while. So basically what I did is I wanted to go for like the black on black and then they have the shoes pop at the bottom. And then the shoes still have like black and white knit, black and white with the black. So that's the look I was going for. Basically just uh, have the shoes just pop at the bottom. Pictures will be on the screen like always. See you guys later. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna keep bringing these out, man. I'm trying to give you guys high quality content, like for real, for real. High quality content that's gonna help you guys and some little bit like just showing you my life. So hopefully it's a little bit enjoyable too, the fashion part. But the fitness part, I'm really just trying to help you guys because I really do love this shit too, man. I'm trying to do this for a living. Please leave a like, please subscribe. It really does help me. And it doesn't take that much for you to just like hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you watch it regularly, if you're new to the channel, it really does help me. It's probably gonna end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Follow your dreams, man. It's running up this year. No, they hate me, cause I'm a legend in the making. If that bitch with me, you know she caking. Curve that hoe, she sadly so mistaken. My girl, she too bad, shorty, you just looking basic. Cody and I'ma pour it up, too folks.